Hi, lovely. Welcome home. <laughs> How was your appointment? Good. <laughs> I'm glad. Oh? Oh, okay. So, it's a group thing? Like, a meetup for Leighton's to talk to each other? Nice. That's cool. I, I didn't realize the department facilitated that kind of thing. Does it actually happen at the academy? Like, on campus? Nice. I'm sure... Getting to talk to other people who have been through that will be rewarding. I know when I got turned, being able to talk to the other members of the clan was a big help. It's almost like a support group. <laughs> cool. Um, are you still going to be meeting with your therapist, like, in addition to that? Oh, okay. <laughs> the smell. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I made us dinner. The other night when we cooked together was a lot of fun, and I know you really liked that meal, so, uh, I made it again. I figured after the long day, it'd be nice to come home to a warm meal. Yeah, I'm excited to cook with you again, too. Maybe later this week? Okay. But tonight, I figured we could just enjoy the eating part together. <laughs> and you wouldn't have to worry about the making part. You're welcome. I'm glad to do it. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, uh, go get changed and I'll, I'll get it pleated up and meet you in the dining room. Oh, wow. <laughs> I figured you'd be going the comfy clothes route after your long day. You look wonderful, lovely. I guess it's going to be a feast for the eyes, as well as the stomach tonight. Oh. <laughs> well, if... you want to consider it a date, I'm happy to do so too. When it comes to you and me and the pace of this, I defer completely to your judgment. It will be whatever you're comfortable with. Well, in that case... I guess I'm just glad I dressed for the occasion as well. <laughs> I'll get your chair for you. There you go. <laughs> I hope that works for the drink. It's what you had last time, so I figured it was alright. Good. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, I'm not really one for head chairs at a table. It feels stuffy to me. I like having them just on the sides of the table. I think it feels more communal. Plus, in this case, it means I get to be closer to you. Um, 
I didn't do much today. I had a phone meeting with my advisor at the academy. Are you signed up for any classes over the winter semester? That wasn't a thing back when I was in college. <laughs> or at least not at the college that I was at. I mean, those classes get jammed into such an accelerated timetable. They don't even have that many offerings for it. My advisor was saying most professors don't even bother. They'd rather just take the break too, like most of the students. But there was an opening in a History of Magic course, so I went ahead and signed up for it. It starts right at the beginning of December and then wraps up that first week of January. It's a required class, and apparently it's easy, just boring. <laughs> so I figured it'd be a way to get a feel for things before the full-blown spring semester. What about that energetic class you're observing? Is that still going well? Nice. <laughs> Well, when you actually take the course in the spring, that should give you a good leg up, having at least been able to sit in on it for the end of the semester. I didn't even know they did that kind of thing. Your advisor sounds a lot better than mine. He sounds like he can actually get stuff done. <laughs> really? Right now? Well, yeah, I'd love to see it. Have you been practicing it for a while? Okay. Oh, wow. That's amazing, lovely. If you can already do that, you're really going to be able to do incredible things once you've got some classes under your belt. <laughs> color me impressed. <laughs> Though, I've been impressed with you since the first day I met you, little one. <laughs> the feeling's only grown stronger since. <laughs> well, uh, what else? Oh, Will gave me a call. Said he needed to talk tonight, so I'll be heading over to his house later. No, he, he didn't go too deep into details. Sometimes I swear he does this shit just for the mystique of it all. <laughs> the way he phrased it was that it was important, but not urgent. I guess that makes it the kind of thing he wants to discuss in person, but that doesn't require me running over there. No, I really don't know what it would be about. He and I have already talked at length about everything that happened with you. We're all good there, so... The only thing he mentioned was that it had to do with Halloween night, that something had happened. I don't know. I guess I'll find out tonight. I mean, if something had happened to Sam, I'm, I'm sure he would have called me over immediately. Oh, I'm, I'm just guessing it might have to do with Sam. It, it was his night to watch the park on Halloween, if I remember right. Yeah, we take turns, someone staying on watch each night. Nothing ever really happens, but it was part of the deal with the department when Will took the place as part of the clan's territory. Uh, it's kind of a long story. I'll tell you later. Yeah, 
Yeah, that, that night when I first met you was one of my nights to watch the park. I don't get pulled into the rotation much. Will mostly keeps me out of it, but every now and then I've got to take on my due diligence. Part of the job description for clan members. Progeny of the king or not. But given that, it was a hell of a coincidence that you and I were both there that night. I don't know what that means. And while I wish with everything in my power that our knowing each other hadn't gone down the path that it did, I'm still grateful that we did meet that night, because I'm very grateful that you're in my life, lovely. Whatever form that takes. And I'm also very grateful that you're at my table tonight. <laughs> it's a magnificent view from this side of the table, if I may say so. <laughs> you're too kind. A full stomach must be getting to your head. <laughs> but I'll gladly take the compliment and give you one right back. I meant it when I said I'm impressed by you. You've been through so much in such a short time. And you're not losing yourself in it. You've more than risen to the occasion, but you also haven't used all those exciting new developments to hide from what happened, from the fallout of that. I'm so glad you're getting help. And that that's going well. I know how nervous you were to discuss the Adam incident. But you've started to unpack that with them. And I have a lot of admiration for you, little one. You make me strive to be better. You inspire me, and I'm excited to navigate these coming times with you. Who'd have thought, right? <laughs> One night, we're flirting in the ruins of an abandoned amusement park. Fast forward a bit, and now we're planning for a semester at a magical academy that you didn't know existed and that I couldn't have cared less about. Pretty soon we'll be cramming for exams, studying, navigating two different sleep schedules and lives and unique needs. <laughs> yes, and carving out time to cook together. And time to get to know each other better. The way I should have from the start. To the future. <laughs> Whatever that looks like. My little roommate. <laughs> I figured that would get a laugh out of you. Cheers. Lovely. Is
dessert. <laughs> well, I didn't have anything planned. I don't suppose you'd like to go out somewhere for it. Yes, I absolutely can drive. <laughs> Just because I can run as fast as a car doesn't mean I wouldn't rather drive. I happen to love cars, I'll have you know. <laughs> have you not taken a look in the garage? Oh, well then you're in for a treat. Oh yeah, it's decided now. You've questioned my abilities, and my fragile ego can't stand for that. But... <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> well, I was going to say, but I bet I'd lay down for it. <laughs> but... I am trying to hold back on the salaciousness, at least a bit, <laughs> until we get to a point where it's more appropriate. Either way, come on, we're going. <laughs> I know just the place. We just have to make sure we get back at a reasonable hour. I'm not looking to get reamed by my maker for blowing him off. <laughs> All things considered, I've been on a streak of fairly good behavior. Mostly. <laughs> well, I have to keep the old man on his toes at least a little bit, you know. I can't let Alexis have all the fun. <laughs> How about you pick which car we take? And, as long as you promise not to give my immortality a run for its money, you can drive us home. <laughs> okay. Let's go.